Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload a podcast or an audio into your Amazon S3 account and then stream that video on your CMS platform. So for this demo purpose I'm going to show you how to stream it on a Joomla platform so you can uh, you can upload your podcast onto Amazon S3 and then stream it from your Joomla, a Joomla website. So first thing you need to do is to upload the podcast into your Amazon S3 account. Okay, To do that, once you've logged in, uh, if you haven't got a bucket where you'll be uploading your podcast to, you can create a bucket. Now over here we've got a bucket which says podcast, so we'll upload the audio into there. But if it's a new, if you've just created um, an Amazon account or if it's something new that you're looking to do, you might, <clears throat> you might want to create a new bucket and give that name a bucket so that you can have everything organized nicely. Now we're going to upload a podcast into this bucket here. So first things first, if you want to create a folder, maybe you've got a folder for uh, like interviews, um, maybe you've got a folder for you know question and answers. radio shows you know you can create as many as you like so you can create the folder so you've got everything nicely uh, organized and then uh, let's say I want to upload a podcast into this interview folder here okay so you double click on the interview folder so it tells you here the interview folder is empty or it tells you over here in the breadcrumb that uh, you're currently in the interview folder of the Ramas podcast bucket okay so to upload a podcast you click the upload uh, icon here and uh, you click on add files and then it'll give you an option to choose a file from your computer now if you haven't got a com if you haven't got any audio files on your PC uh, you can download one or if you've saved it but they have to be in an mp3 format okay the files have to be in an mp3 format for them to stream also there shouldn't be any spaces in the name so we, I'm going to be uploading this podcast here, M -E -S -F -W -A -R -S -E -Y. So here you can see the way this is saved is M hyphen, then the name, and then hyphen, and then the name again. Okay. So when you upload your podcast, they have to make sure there is no spaces in the file name. Okay. So we'll double click this one, and um, it'll tell me the size is 4.6 megabytes. Fair enough. I'll click on. Uh, the start upload icon here and this will upload my podcast onto my S3 account now you can see it's going to take um, a couple of seconds for it to upload uh, in the meantime you can get your code ready so what we need to do is uh, if I just delete this we need to embed the link once you've got it from Amazon into this code here so first you've got the uh, um, play then we'll put the link and then we'll finish the code by this code uh, by closing off with this code that I've highlighted okay very simple okay if you've uh, I'll paste I'll put this in the description below so you can copy it from there and all you have to do is paste the the Amazon link into here and then once you've got the full code you just position it or place it into your Joomla account. So if you go back to the Amazon account you can see it's uploaded. We click on it uh, and click on properties. So now we can see some details about this podcast. First things first is you need to give it permission. So users can actually listen to this because at the moment it may be blocked. Okay. So you click on the permissions tab and click on add more permissions and then click on the drop down in everyone. So everyone that's listening to the podcast can open it and maybe even download it. So you select this option here, open or download, uh, or view permissions or edit permissions if you want to give them extra uh, extra features. But generally for websites, you just select this open and download option so users can actually listen to your podcast on your website or maybe download it into uh, an iPod or an MP3 uh, player and then listen it while while they're out and about. So once you've done this, you click on save <coughs> and if you go back to the details tab, you can see the link is over here. Okay. So if we if you want to test this, you can copy the link 
open a new browser and paste the link and you can see that it will start to play and if you hear some audio that means it's all good to go if you don't hear anything then you know there's some problems with the permission settings okay but if you select these options that I've done you should be able to hear the podcast nicely now what we need to do is paste this link here into the code that I showed you so if I open up the code so you've got play and then uh, the brackets which are closed and then paste the link and then the code so something like this where you've got the the funny brackets with play and the link and then closed off the brackets so I want to now position this on my website so I copy this because this is the code that I need and I open up my website so the website that will this is admin uh, for Joomla if I click on an article and uh, let's see if I can paste it somewhere this one here testing podcast so in your editor all you need to do is paste it like this exactly how I've done it and you don't need to click on view source or view any coding you just paste the the link exactly how I've positioned it okay now you will need a plugin uh, on your website that can actually stream uh, and pick up and know that this is a, a player so it, it, it positions it and plays it properly okay so let's say you've got an article you're working on some text and um, at the bottom you want the podcast to play just paste the link and click on apply or save okay now just to show you how it works on the website if we open up this page and if I click on refresh and there you go you've got the podcast now over here you can see there's a bit of a problem there's a question mark there uh, which means that something's not right so it's not it's not going to play <clears throat> so if you just come back here see what the problem may be maybe there's a space there if you just give that close off the space a bit more and uh, click on apply we can even go back to the Joomla, uh, sorry, to the Amazon settings. Just make sure that we've got view open, download. Everyone, all the permissions are guaranteed. Click on save here. Just make sure that's all right. Come back to the website. <coughs> click on refresh. And uh, okay, it's still coming up with a question mark. But let's try playing it. And there you go. It's playing now. Perfect okay so sometimes you may just need to tweak it a bit but the the whole code that you need is this code here where you've got the play brackets and then the closed play brackets and then position it where you need the video or where you need the podcast to be positioned okay so once you've got the plugin to stream mp3s or audios on your website you can uh, upload the file anywhere you prefer and then just uh, set the coding how I've shown you um, through your Amazon account or through uh, wherever the file doesn't have to be uploaded to Amazon it can be uploaded to another server of yours as long as you put the correct link into the code thank you